All right, here we go. I'm leaving the four-wheeler. I'm gonna hike up this mountain and shoot a goat, come back to my pack raft. I'm gonna float it back to the four-wheeler. It's gonna be a big adventure. That's outside the truck. I'm starting to really question what the heck I'm doing up here. Just going through this forest. These damn things are getting in the way. But beat Devil's Club. And I'll get thorns in my knee. But immediately, you know, leaving home, leaving my baby, leaving my wife. I'm kind of like, yeah, let's make a living in the outdoors. Yeah, oh yeah, sure. Let me produce short films. Let me get some content. Oh, it's gonna be so tight. It's gonna be so badass. I live in Alaska. I'll go do an unguided goat hunt. What am I doing an unguided goat hunt for? This area, guides don't even want to come. Whatever. I'm doing it. And it is kicking my booty for sure. In case you're wondering, this is Devil's Club. All those big leaves. This Devil's Club. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, that's why they call it Devil's Club. You don't want to be a part of that club, buddy. This ain't no. You know what I'm saying? Indigo nightclub in State College. Now I gotta go and scale this cliff somehow and uh, go up there and kill a goat tomorrow. I didn't even bring a tent. I didn't bring a tent. I brought my sleeping bag and a bivy sack. I'm getting chewed alive by bugs. This is goat hunting. Uh huh. A lot of people say it's like a one and done. I imagine to somehow do it every year. It's just silly every single time I freaking do it. I'm like, what the heck? And then once I bust up through tree line, through that rainforest, I'm kind of like, Oh, this is why we're goat hunting. Cause this stuff, this stuff sucks, okay? It sucks. It's gonna be good though. I'm gonna get up there. I already spotted some goats from down low. Now we just gotta get to them. It doesn't matter how loud I am right now until I actually get above tree line. And when I get above tree line, still really doesn't matter cause the goats are like another three miles deeper. No trails up here. This ain't no, you know what I mean, walk in the park. This is, this is the real deal holy field, okay? Go up there. I'm officially rocked. I made it above tree line. Tomorrow, I'm gonna go with this and back into that bowl right there. I'm above tree line. I'm away from the bugs. I'm physically exhausted. I'm going to sleep. I've come to that place where you've been for all time. A light burning in space. Inside Love you, Love you, keep you are the fire. Hard to beat a beef stroke out. Gotta go kill a goat.
me first. I'm gonna do a little bit of coffee. I'm gonna go fill up my water. And then go up. I got a big day ahead of me. I gotta make it up. You see behind me. I go back and hold hold to get to the goats that I saw yesterday. Good news is, got some view. We got food, we got water. For me to switch, I have to have a reason for it, not just because something new came out. I shot weight for 19 years. It wasn't gonna be a bow I could trust this year. I mean, I shot all the different bow brands. I shot Matthews, I shot Elite, went through the whole list, and, and Prime stuck out to me. Draw this one back, it's just there. You're not waiting for the wobble to come out of your hand. I drew it back and let it rip, and I was like, dang, order me one. And that was my story with Prime. There he is, he's down. I've got some work to do. I want some milk. I'm on a solo DIY mountain goat hunt in South Central Alaska. I just got a billy. So I shot from up there, came around the top of this mountain here and came down on him. That's kind of like a textbook mountain hunting move. Uh, so shot from 400 yards right there. Decided, hey, I could probably get closer. And then I, a goat that I didn't see, 
spooked and uh, scared this guy up and he started walking. I said, I can shoot 400 yards. Laid down, touched one off, and here he is. Wow. Wow. Thank you, Mr. Goat. I'm fascinated with these animals and honestly I'm just blessed that I can chase these animals year after year and I have the body and the ability to do so. You know wild places like this just I mean they're brutal and you can understand why an animal would live here for safety and it's just it's really just magical that I can come out here and come and do this. I respect these animals, I honor these animals, I feed my family with these animals. It just uh, had my first son this year, and so putting meat on the table and in the freezer means more now than it ever did. Just thankful. I'm tagged. All right, there's no trophy hero shot. I'm gonna load this whole goat, all of my film gear, and my camp on my back, and I've gotta go. Steel is over three times stronger than aluminum, which means you don't have to fear that shoulder. Bam! Stronger and better penetration. So what does that really mean? Well, I guess that depends on how full you want your freezer. It's time to raise the stakes. Bring home the meat. Dead meat. Dead meat. All steel broadhead, 320% stronger than aluminum. Up and over that in the next two hours. And then I'm gonna camp up there and make a push back down to the pack raft tomorrow morning. This is gonna be brutal. Need nothing to it. What to do it? This is definitely the heaviest pack that I've ever had on my back. Okay, now I gotta go up the steep face, side hill through the nasties, and no fall zone territory, and uh, pull out all my stuff, sleep, wake up, and do it all over again tomorrow. Huh? I'm on my way out, and this is tough, I'm not going to lie. I'm your average Joe, trying to be above average right now, and it is very tough. I got the whole goat, the whole goat hide and skull, 
and uh, all the meat, my pack, my camera gear. And solo hunting is really tough. I think I need to go back to going out with some buddies here because this is real tough and real dangerous. But I'm loving every minute of it. Whew. Almost there, man. Almost there. For more information on the Solo Hunter rifle covers, vinyl harness system, and other accessories, or to connect with us on social media for exclusive photos and videos, log on to solohunter.com. Packing up, 7 a.m. first light, day two of the pack out. Here we go. Watching crew. 